Okay, recently a brother sent me a link to this website here and he basically said that I should check it out. Um, this is a contemporary Christian rock radio station uh, located down in Florida and it looks, you know, fairly innocent except over here there's kind of a giveaway. This face of this guy here that's supposed to be Jesus and behind him looks like a wafer. You say, well now, you know, they it couldn't be a Catholic contemporary Christian rock thing, could it? Well, let me show you here. It goes down through and you can see all these different things. Vacation Bible School calendar, um, Tampa Bay there, Spirit FM salutes our military families, they get Facebook links, everything else. Holy by Nicole Nordeman, you know, whatever. But let's check out our this uh, About Us link. Okay. The mission, sharing the peace of Christ to communicate Christian truth as expressed in sacred scripture and by the magisterium of the Roman Catholic Church. Programming is broadcast to communicate the truth, nourish charity, defend justice, spread joy, and foster con and confirm all among all people that uh, peace which Christ the Lord brings. Yeah, from eating him. Okay, the pagan rituals, the blasphemous uh, cannibalistic pagan rituals of Roman Catholicism. But you see there, and it comes down here and it says, Spirit FM is owned and operated by the Catholic Diocese of St. Petersburg, Florida. The Spirit FM studios are located near downtown Tampa on the parish grounds of Christ the King Catholic Church and transmit at 90.5 FM, blah, blah, blah. So you see, the Catholics have no problem at all with this contemporary Christian music. In fact, they enjoy it. They like it. And uh, let me show you here concerts and events. Some of the groups that these people promote. Go down here to that one. Okay. Uh, now, I've been out of the whole Christian rock thing for so many years, I really don't even know most of these people. Uh, check this one. I forget which one it is. Yeah, this is the one here. Okay. Here you have this Rock the Universe. Uh huh. Uh, Universal Studios. <laughs> That's where the thing's going to be, I guess. Uh, Casting Crowns, Third Day, Switchfoot, David Crowder Band, uh, Reliant K, Fanzone, I guess. I don't know. Candlelight Service. Yeah, I bet that's going to be something. And Anne Berlin. I don't even know anything about these groups, but the point is I've heard of this third day. I've heard of this Casting Crowns, and I've heard of them, the David Crowder Band. And you see, the Catholics have no problem with this. Now, I find that kind of interesting, kind of uh, distressing in a way. You know, it, it, because I remember back when Christian rock was coming out, you know, it's, it's an oxymoron, of course, but... Uh, when this rock thing was coming out, it was supposedly to, you know, evangelize the lost. And, oh, it'll never be brought into the church. It's just to bring, get people saved. And then, of course, years later, it, it's been brought into the churches now. And now you can see that it's, it's so inept and non-offensive to the lost world that now the lost world actually enjoys the Christian rock. Okay? It's just disgusting. And, you know, here you have prayer life and request prayer, the rosary, daily readings, traditional prayers, living Eucharist, Catholic questions and answers. Roman Catholics promoting contemporary Christian music. Pretty disgusting. Okay, and if, if you want to do some study, do a little bit of research into where rock and roll music came from. I mean, it comes from voodoo and Santeria. And, of course, in Europe, it came from the Druidic witchcraft. Uh, there are a lot of their ceremonial music. It is occultism. You cannot Christianize rock and roll. And I was involved in it for a long time. I had long hair. You know, I liked to listen to the stuff. And I repented of it. And I'll show you a very good website if you want to read and study. I don't have it linked over in this thing. Uh, it's, see if I can remember, AV16... 11.org I'm pretty sure yeah. Dial the Truth Ministries and you can check this website out and there's a lot of good stuff 
on here's uh, news and views from the web things that are prophetic that are taking place and then you have dial the truth articles over here and he talks a lot about the Bible version issue and also Christian Rock Exposed that's a very very good article what about the rock band POD also very go uh, good article very vexing to see the kind of wicked things that these guys are into I mean look at look at these guys you know oh but they're Christians and they use the F word and all sorts of uh, other things and, and of course they have this occult symbol there the trichatra from witchcraft it's also on the New King James Version and it, here's a witch's spell book with it on I mean it's just it's just incredible and this POD band has just it's just loaded with occult symbolism an all-seeing eye and a hand like a palm reader you know there's a satanic salute holding a snake you know I mean just incredible skull the 13 and these are supposed to be Christians and this P POD band is uh, they'll actually play it like Ozzy Osbourne's music festival and it's just it's really really bad how far things have gone in what is called Christianity and the, just the total lack of discernment among Christians and again there's just you know it's amazing here I'll show you one more website before we quit chick.com now here you have Jack Chick's website Chick Publications and here's a new book that just came out on the uh, Masonic Lodge but you know this is supposedly an anti-Catholic website and Catholics will shun this website and they'll call it hate literature and everything we had a big problem here locally we were putting out tracks on you know exposing the Catholic Church and they came out and said that this is a hate crime you know here's a whole section on Catholicism and uh, a lot of questions and answers a lot of resources uh, some really good things and of course they answer the thing of does Jack Chick hate Catholics and the answer to that is no they love them and they're telling them the truth so chick.com is a great resource and you're not going to see Roman Catholics promoting this website they hate it they can't stand it but you go to the Spirit FM thing and you actually have Roman Catholics a, a rock and roll a modern contemporary Christian rock and roll station owned by uh, a Roman Catholic Church I mean it's just incredible how far we've come and I'll tell you what if you don't know about the thing of the Catholic Church you need to really understand and really do a little bit of research into what the Catholic Church believes and what they've done to Christians for centuries the tens of millions of Christians that have died at the hands of the Roman Catholic Church uh, you don't want them taken over okay Roman Catholicism is not another branch of Christianity and the fact that the Roman Catholic Church is now promoting uh, contemporary Christian rock music, which, <laughs> yeah, the fact that they're promoting it just shows how wicked the modern rock movement is. So watch out. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of deception out there today. So that's it. Thank you.